So I hear you're looking for some secret missions that are going to net you some of the best armor and weapons in the game without having to grind co-op expeditions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be covering just that. A line of quests that is going to unlock Elder Dragon Hunts in single player for you so you don't have to farm up bottle caps for super rare tickets and then hope and pray that you run into the Elder Dragon that you want. Now, not only will you be able to unlock all of the Elder Dragons to farm them up this way, but you'll also get access to a secret boss fight. You can only encounter this amazing boss through this quest line, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it is amazing. Now, to start this quest line, you will need to be in high rank, and once you get to high rank, you're going to head to Lelucian here. Now, once you are here, you're going to head to the southern end of the map towards where the smithy is down here. This is where the layered armor smithy is because he bleeds a layered armor. This is actually where you can make layered armor out of anything in the game. So you can look as pretty as you want to. But there is going to be this lady over here in the corner next to the Rathian and Rathalos wings who's sifting through some ore. She's going to give you a low level quest and many of you have probably ignored this quest. This quest is very important. She's going to give you a quest called Artifact Excavation. This gives you three bottle caps and asks you to investigate the ruins. Now, if you've already accepted this quest, it's probably in your quest log, but it should be available from this lady right here. Now, let's go ahead and complete this and we'll get into the next bit of this. Now, we will also be doing tutorials for each of these Elder Dragons. I'm going to be showing you the best ways to take them down and farm up their items. So expect videos on all of that and the first one in this one. Also, if you're looking for a buddy, my favorite buddy is Roberto. And that's because he's an absolute monster. He does a ridiculous amount of damage. So if you haven't picked a partner yet, I highly recommend Roberto as your king of destruction. Now for this quest, you're going to want to fast travel to the Jalma Highlands. You can go to this fast travel point right here. And we're going to be going to this location right here on the map. Now if we go around this corner, we're going to see all these mining areas and a little bit of a thingy maboober right here. Is this the rare ore? Oh, it's just another shard. Is it me or does it look like the one we found before? So we got another unidentified shard. And I believe we need to take this back to the lady. On the ground just in this corner here. I'm going to grab that bad boy. Uh, it's the third one we found so far. Do you think there's pieces of the same thing? Um, let's see if it fits. And it does. So there's three total pieces. I don't remember exactly where I found the first one. I found it while just roaming around the map, but it should be within this area here. I believe there's one like right up around there is where I found it, which is just across the way here. Uh, but now that we've found that, we need to meet the client back in Lelucian and complete this first quest. Three bottle caps, but the rewards do get quite a bit better as we continue through this quest line. So now that we have completed that quest, what we need to do now is actually head to the Scriveners because she noticed that there is a picture of something with a horn and lightning on it, which is actually going to be Kirin, the first Elder Dragon we're going to be fighting. Scriveners launch, and in the back, we've got Lilia here, who's going to give us our uh, first Elder Dragon hunt. And stimulants to unlock uh, your locked genes that you might have. So this is actually going to be the creature we're going to be fighting, which is Kirin. Now, Kirin is an electric type monster with a weakness to fire. So that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on for this. So if you have a fire type monster or weapons, and then making sure your armor has a defense against electricity. So this quest is going to lead you to the Pomor Garden, where you need to track down the Kirin. This is just as similar to anything else you did in the story mode. Just follow the green bugs to the tracks and continue tracking down the monster until you inevitably fight it. Kirin Den, at the very end of this den, you're gonna fight the wondrous Elder Dragon that is Kirin. Thankfully, it won't one-shot you as easily as it does in a standard Monster Hunter game. Uh, but as long as you are using its counters, you should be good to go. So it's going to start off by using speed, which means if you have any tech abilities, that's what you're going to want to use on this. It does hit like a freaking Mack truck. 
So definitely make sure to keep that in mind. Use any fire attacks if you can, just to deal some additional damage. Uh, but as long as you're using a tech attacks, whenever it's using speed attacks, you should be able to get counters very easily, which means it won't even be able to deal damage to you. It, when you do a double attack, it actually stuns the monster and prevents it from doing damage. So it's very important to try and do this as much as possible. Now it is enraged, and of course it's targeting Roverto. Um, but it might be doing an AoE attack, so I'm going to make sure to heal up Toaster here. And we'll see what it's doing. I think it's going to actually charge up its electric attacks, which means it's going to do even more damage than it was potentially going to do before. Oh no, just a lightning strike on Roberto. Okay, we're okay. Everything is fine. So Roberto is using a power attack, which is probably not good. No, okay, yeah, it does use technical when it's enraged. Uh, so once it's enraged, make sure to use tech as your counter. And then also try and make sure to use weapons that are strong against the part that you are hitting. Uh, let's see here. We do have a ride ability here. Now, you can save your ride abilities for double attacks uh, or tr to try and break a particular part. It's kind of up to you. You really want to try and get Kieran out of its enraged state as quick as possible. It does do a ton of damage and can uh, one-shot you potentially look at this beautiful toaster our boy toasty is such a good monsty i need to make it super powerful also if there's any monsters that you all really love in monster hunter stories 2 and you want to see a great build for them let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll start doing some community requested monster builds so 770 damage not too bad not great either so for the head you are going to be using the sword or hammer to try and counter that Thankfully, we are getting lucky here with our counters, which is going to make this fight very easy. Uh, just try and make sure what your partner is using and counter with that if you can. That's going to get you kinship, them kinship, and it's just going to make the fight in general a lot easier. Alright, so this is the electric charge I was talking about. The electric charge is going to drastically boost its electrical stats, which means from here on out, potential one-shots. So this is where we either want to try and stun it, uh, with a double attack, if possible. Um, I don't think putting in a trap is really going to work for this, but we're definitely going to counter it. Um, and now it's using speed attacks, which means we need to use technical. Yes, we need to use technical. And of course it's using lightning horn. This might still hurt a lot. Nope, we're okay. Attacking multiple times per turn now. Previously it was only attacking once. Uh, but now that it has that electrical charge, it's going to attack twice per turn, which is double the fun. So Roberto isn't getting a counter here. So instead of trying to just attack, I'm going to go ahead and use my ride here. And then maybe we'll be able to break a piece of Kirin here, or at least stun it. So that way we'll prevent it from doing two attacks rather than one. Plus we automatically heal up our character this way too. Nergagante is actually my better monster for this, but Nergi is weak to lightning, and we don't want to deal with that. Hopefully with this attack, we can actually break its horn. Oh, so close. There we go. If you are able to break the horn, you will get a nice stun on the target, uh, which is very good. And I can finally use Spinning Meteor on a target that is down on the ground. This should be good. Come on, baby! Boom! 2,500 damage. Oh my god, you're done, Kieran. Farewell, sweet prince. It was good knowing you. Now, you won't get the Elder Dragon Eggs from doing these quests. You will only get the materials that you'll need to be able to make the armor and weapons. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but now we'll also unlock the ability to farm up this monster if we so desire. So just go ahead and head back to Lelucian, turn in this quest, and then you'll be able to continue with the quest line, unlocking the other Elder Dragons, and even a secret Elder Dragon boss at the end of this quest line that you cannot access any other way. I will be making videos on all of these, but I'm not going to spoil the final boss in this video. I will be doing a video on it later, uh, but we're going to do all of these. I believe the next one is probably... Uh, Nergagante is what I was thinking. It looks like we're going to be hunting down something. Oh, it's going to be unknown until we fight it. It's going to be in the volcano. Oh, that's going to be a Teostra probably. Uh, but anyways, what? let's check out the armor from Kieran. 
do have some good skills on here, which is Thunder Boost XL and Define Blessing Large. Um, but <laughs> the armor is also a little ridiculous. It always has been. Um, I actually like the bonuses on Kieran's armor more than Thunder Lord Zenogre's. So if you're looking to boost your thunder damage, this is going to be a very good set for that. Honestly, it's probably the best set to boost your own thunder damage and reduce your own damage, which is reduce the damage done to you because of Divine Blessing. You also get the all elemental defense boost. So all in all, it's actually a pretty good set of armor. You're going to probably want to use layered armor with it, though. We do have a sword and shield here, which has 136 attack, crit rate of 6%, a defense of 25, and we get shock slash on here, which is pretty nice. Sword pretty cool i don't believe there's any other uh kirin weapons that i haven't been able to see but you will need pieces to build other weapons so it's something you're gonna need to farm up at least a little bit uh, but regardless i do hope you all enjoyed today's video let me know what you think in the comments below and we will be covering the next elder dragons as well as their armor uh, but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one